My name is Rochelle Lewis. I went to school on the East Coast at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in upstate New York. My name is Prescott Rivas, and I went to Howard University in Washington, D.C. Um, and NOMA has a, an initiative, a national initiative called Project Pipeline, and that project is to essentially introduce uh, middle school and high school children to the profession of architecture, particularly uh, African American students, Latino students, uh, who aren't very well represented in the profession right now. My name is Romel Taylor, and I actually graduated from California College of Arts, the school we're in right now. This, as far as a profession, is a wonderful profession. First of all, it's, you know, we have people that, that love kids. Every one of us are here because we enjoy working with kids and we think we're good at working with them. I think for me, it's reiterating what my ideas are in a fashion that makes sense because I know what I want to say, except I just don't know the order to, to say it that will make sense. So this camp has really helped me sort of notice that you have to sort of start large and sort of start on the outside and say it's a ball, then say it's green, then say it's fluffy, instead of saying, oh, it's fluffy and it's really big and it's round and then it just bounces all over the place. Long-term goal is to get more licensed minority architects with a focus on African-American architects because you know, there's roughly, you know, 108,000 licensed architects in this country and 1.8% of them are African American. Yes, before I attended these camps, I used to think that architects just drew random buildings on paper and they just built the buildings in real life. But they actually have to like make it to scale and actually have a plan and it actually has to make sense for them to build it. We're allowing them to expand their mind about what they can do in life. Architecture afforded me only one time have I gone outside this country and had to pay. We just allow the kids to, to know that they have a voice, they are smart, all kids are smart. So the best thing about this is really we teach your kids to understand that they're as smart as they think they are, and even smarter. Please come. So every kid should have the opportunity to express themselves and express themselves within the world that they're in. There is no wrong, like, you know, dream big, think big. If you see your child drawing, building models, taking apart models, or shows any interest in the built environment or mechanical engineering or liking car design or anything that seems, it may seem frivolous to you, you should check out, check out our camp because your, your child is displaying some early uh, sort of uh, characteristics of a designer.